we have a Xeno Classic for you guys today, Sinji versus Jen. And we are ready to see what, ooh, not the Hydra going behind Palutena, excuse me, what's going on here? Sometimes the hitboxes are wacky like that. We are going to see the conversion at the edge of the stage. I think a little too high percent and still too far off the stage anyway to go for an air train on that one, but this is looking very much in Jen's favor to start out. And oh, the damage no. to what you thought this was! Hello! Oh, wow. Oh, my. that was... Oh. Look at this, and still piling on the damage. Shu, hello, already at 45%. Jen is trying to claim Sinji's life right now. That's literally so crazy. Already at 64%, and we're just piling on the damage on and on and on until Sinji inevitably loses their second stock. Hello? Oh, wow, with only 34%. Are we playing timed mode? Why are these matches going by so fast? <laughs> Do we have I somewhere to be today? All right. Oh, uh, wow. I that feel, was... I, I'm seeing a little bit of Sinji getting run over here because you saw that, what, aggressive, like, run-up grab in that situation. I guess that's part of the mix-up and all that, but Sinji's kind of looking a little flattened on this one. This might be a game two situation. Paul Atena stomped on this. Oh, look, Lord. The, the, the kick, the stomp, the action of using your leg to hit somebody <laughs> just completely I... annihilated Sinji this, right there. This, this, this is... This is, this is totally, like, exaggerated, but there was that brief half-second of Sinji just staring directly forward, and I could hear Hello Darkness with the, with the gray scales, like, well, I guess this is my life now. Oh, let's, my. Let's go to game two. But, uh... Game two, the, the game two, it already started! Like, at this point, like, the, the character selection is still there, but it's already started, because now... Look at that! Yeah, that two down airs and a back air. Like, look, Sinji, Sinji, and Jen, both of these players have competed for a long time and have done a lot of competition, so they do have that mental fortitude. But that is crushing for anybody to be just wrecked in the game one. Absolutely, that's literally what just happened, and that was such an explosive game from Jen to start us off. Like, hello, like that was literally so amazing, and I, I still can't get over that game, but. Getting into this next game, you know, pretty much about to be at even percents. Very nice uh, weight there. However, not going to get too much off of that juggle situation. We are, you know, pretty much even at this point. I think what we were trying to see a little bit in that game one and what we've seen now is, uh, oh, that was aggressive, um, is we've seen Sinji try to respond to Jen's aggression with uh, a little bit of aggression of his own, knowing that, like, okay, if I set up camp again, I'm probably going to get, uh, you know, steamrolled. So let's try it for a little bit of aggressiveness on this one. And it's panning out so far, looking a little bit about even, Sinji getting the chance to set up a little bit more, trying to earn Jen's respect. Ooh, right. and that was a very nice D-catch right there. Going to go for that... Um, down throw into back air, and we're going to see Sinji back off stage with that down tilt, getting the two frame. This is not looking entirely scary just yet, but we are back in a situation oh, yeah. where Sinji is forced to choose a defensive option, and that is ending in Sinji's first stock gone. That is literally one of probably this is just I don't I don't think we've ever seen Palutena do this good against like a Pac Man like ever, and granted. I, I, it's been I, a while if it has. We I haven't mean, seen for too sure. much Palutena lately. I mean, yeah, you know, Jen has come to reclaim his throne. We've... Oh, oh no, it doesn't quite get it. That's a yeah. tight window. Um, so for those who don't know, when you go for the item grab in the air like that, the people who do it without suffering any sort of uh, movement to do it like an aerial, you, I think it's shield or grab. It's grab, probably. Um, and if you do it just right, there's no animation or anything. If you do it a little too early, then you get an air dodge. If you do it too late, that mm -hmm. happens. Yeah, so for it's sure. it's scary to go for, but it's a very strong tip to have in your belt. I mean, but totally. We're definitely going to see, you know, even socks a piece right now. And we're seeing a lot of just, you know, just neutral things, you know. Sinji not really trying to play too much of what he was playing in that first game because he doesn't want to get steamrolled. Uh, not really steamrolled, but either way, it was still just a really fast match overall. And I just definitely love, you know, how much Sinji has been sticking to this bell right here, has not used any of his other, you know, tools whatsoever. And it's kind of just one of those situations where it's just like, you know, he's trying to stick to it so he can find more of a consistent way to actually kill Jen. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's definitely just one of those things where we might not even see too much of it, you know, in play. We only saw it to get that first stock end, for yeah, sure. Because we're seeing a little bit more respect now from Jen, like that spacing out with the back airs, taking the majority of the stage in that one. If that was game one, that would have been, oh, I'm just going to run in and put you into the blender and mix you and go for the kill. So the respect has been earned on this one, and Sinji is slowly working back a lead on this one. 
starting to make the adaptations needed. Ooh! That was interesting! Mm -hmm. That was a parry, but didn't really get too much off of that. I think specifically that was a single parry into roll because that looked like a labbed response. That looked like something like, how do I punish this dash attack? The punish yes. wasn't quite there, but I do like that Sinji quick adaptation went for a jab. Quick option to put a hitbox out on that one and not looking to get too punished. Okay, teleport cancels. Love them. Okay, and the nice back air. Not going to take that second stock just yet, but we need to see Jen take this stock somehow, but it's yeah. not looking like it's going to happen just Jen yet. Jen committing a little bit hard on that one on the low recovery betting with the uh, explosive flame going down on that one. Manages to get the stage back, but at 90% now, eating a little bit of extra credit and still a stock down. This would be a very difficult situation to come back from. Absolutely, for sure. And still, it's looking like Jen has been having a hard time actually, you know, playing... In the corner, that's where we've seen, you know, Sinji more consistently, but we, this it's Palutena. We, we haven't forgot that she's still a very good character whatsoever. And I also liked that orange to actually um, cover the lateral or the uh, horizontal area from, you know, Palutena whenever she wants to recover. That was very nice from Sinji right there. But is this going to end? Nope, not yet doing everything to mix up the time recovering to the ledge on that one. And if I'm not mistaken, the longer you spend in the air before you grab the ledge, the more invincibility you have. Yes, absolutely. So that does help for uh, trying to get back onto the ledge as well. All right, scary place to be. Actually, that was a really good time to challenge that hydrant because the water had just come out and pushed Sinji away. Sinji was ready for it and so was Jen. That's a very important thing in the match is keeping track of those whip boxes. Ooh. All right, trampoline, that does catch getup options. And that's going to take it. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, Battlefield is definitely a really good stage, especially for Palutena. You know, like, it's one of her best stages. But I feel like there was somewhat of an issue because, you know, it hydrogen wasn't much of a factor, mm -hmm. like, in terms of, like, it being removed and whatnot. So whenever, you know, like, Jen kind of wanted to use it aggressively, to just get rid of Hydrant, it wasn't really that much of a pressure. It was a pressure when he used, you know, up smash at ledge and then forced to, um, Sinji to roll. But other than that, like, it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like, you know, this, uh, like, this stage exactly. What the? That was one hell of a read. That was a read on Sinji running back off stage, but that's such a heavy commitment. Run up explosive flame, gonna eat a punishment for that. 70% is honestly on the light end. Right. I mean, for sure, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that was looking like a back air, just didn't get it entirely at that moment, but Sinji is at 73% and trying to pile on some damage to Jen right now. And I just love how Jen kind of just ignored Galaga right there. Yeah, so a big thing about the Galaxian on that one is that when it goes past you, it covers your jump back and it often keeps people in shield. So Jen going for the aggressive option on that one, like, oh, you know, I'm not going to fall for the fake mix up, but Sinji was waiting in shield to get the punish just as Sinji was waiting with the bell on that one to get the forward smash to cure the kill. Yeah, this is looking like a definite reversal from what we saw in the first game. Ooh, not going to get that back air just yet, but this is looking a little bit scary for Jen because Jen doesn't want to be in too much of a situation where he wants to be at 59% and still having to take Sinji's first stock off. This is not where Jen wants to be right now, and we need to see, you know, just him take the stock somehow. Mm -hmm. It's a workable situation, but the longer you give Sinji to set up and play his game, the less and less likely you are to uh, make it work for you. All right. I do like that option off stage. Uh, ledge drop down, jump Nair, and then return to ledge. Mm -hmm. uh, potential option to get re-grabbed on that one, but it's quite a quick option. And one of the things is too, like, Sinji knows that Jen wants to do that. Jen wants to try and nair out of shield a lot of the time, so by kind of just mixing up the timing, or just not even mixing up the timing, drifting at that too, that's exactly what Sinji wants to be able to actually punish Jen, and is he gonna die off the side? No, he's not. Not yet, this is rough though. It's just been corner to corner. Is that gonna kill? That's absolutely gonna kill. This is where we need to see Jen play a little bit more patiently, try and, you know, get their advantage started. Yep. Actually falls out of the Nair train on that one because caught on the platform for one of the hitboxes and lands. Yep, that yeah. apple's gonna take it, for sure. And we're at one sock, just what we saw previously. And this is looking very scary for Jen right now. Mm -hmm. Jen needs to have whatever energy he was having in that first game. 
he wants to take this stock and he wants to take it quick. Yeah. Now this is looking like a complete reversal from game one on this one. Sinji's got all the momentum currently going in right now, a stock up. Jen not afraid to come down swinging though and looking for the Ooh. conversions off of that. Ooh, that looked like it was supposed to be a back air, but didn't get it. And, ooh, this is, wow, looking so scary for Jen right now. Yeah, seeing the counter as well on that one, potentially trying to reflect an object as well as keep any hits out, but counters are risky. Ooh. That is also a very risky option. Jen with these reads on Sinji's aggression or lack thereof, and just one or two bad ones is all it really takes to really get put in a terrible position on this one. Full stock down, 100%. This is looking rough. This is uh, a Ooh. sudden momentum shift and like a solid couple of really good reads to turn this around. See, I feel like Jen had such a good like, you know, way to control the pacing of that first game. But now that Sinji is kind of like reversed it and flipped it on his head, Jen is having a hard time by not really mixing up, you know, his timings whenever he do, does choose to go for these, you know, aggressive options and whatnot. So I feel like Sinji has just caught on to that. And like that, that backer is going to take that last stock. And we are going to see a two stock coming in from Sinji against Jen. And you might have seen it there just a second ago. But uh, Sinji was totally feeling the momentum there at the end. You mm -hmm. saw the... Uh, mix up with the trampoline there, didn't really go for too many swings on that one, and then just waited for the air dodge, got the throw as the punish. Comes back on this one, and then alternates to the sort of, it's not really reckless because those were spaced mm -hmm. back airs on the shield, but just like, yeah, I'll throw these out, I'm gonna stock up, why not? What's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. So. But yeah, for sure. I really feel like, you know, Jen had such a good, you know, catch on everything. That first game, that was such a Q3 stock, I'm gonna be completely honest.